What do you think of when I say creativity? If you're like most people, your mind jumps to artistic things like painting, music, or theater. We have the tendency to equate creative with artistic. But let's think differently about creativity in our leadership. See how in this lesson. I believe we're all creative. And I believe that creative leaders influence their world in far more meaningful and powerful ways. But there's a creativity myth that's shared by far too many people. Folks feel like being creative is a fixed trait, like having blue eyes. You're either born with it or you're not. That's simply a myth. At the foundation of creative leadership is the belief that we're all creative. We seem to forget that back in kindergarten, we were all creative. We all played and experimented and tried weird things out without fear or shame. We didn't know enough not to. Then, a fear of social rejection is something we learned as we got older. And predominant culture taught us that there's a clear-cut, single right answer to pretty much every situation. This stifled our creativity. So too early and too often, we opt out of being creative. But never fear, because we all can develop our creative leadership. We have far more creative potential waiting to be tapped. Leaders can nurture their creativity and put it to valuable use in their influence. Yet only 25% of leaders feel that they're living up to their creative potential. We just need to help leaders rediscover what they already have, the capacity to imagine or build on new to the world ideas. At its core, creative confidence is all about believing in your capacity to influence the world around you. It's the conviction that you can achieve what you set out to do. Everyone is a creative. Creative leadership is found at the intersection of the ability to come up with new ideas and the courage to try them out. We know that anyone can grow in this creative confidence and their creative leadership. You just have to believe the truth. Creative learning and growth are possible. After all, people with creative confidence make better choices, set off more easily in new directions, and are better able to find solutions to seemingly impossible problems. To gain this empowered and creative mindset, you have to face your fears. The fact is, the majority of us fear failure. We fear being judged. We fear getting started. And we fear the unknown. Fear is the single biggest obstacle people face in their creative leadership. Creative confidence asks that we overcome fear. And I love this quote from the design school at Stanford. Failure sucks, but instructs. Give yourself the leeway to make mistakes and give yourself the permission to fail. The lessons that are learned from our failures make us smarter and stronger. Start developing your creative confidence one step at a time. What's impossible to accomplish in a giant leap is often manageable in small steps. To build your creative leadership journey, you need to find your spark. Your spark is a metaphor for your sweet spot, the things you're great at. Your creative spark can be found in the strengths that define your talents. Your creative potential rests in what you naturally do best. So creativity depends on what you believe you can do and the talents you already have. Then we can use design thinking, which is a process for creative problem solving. It starts with people and their needs. Anyone can use it to tap into their creative leadership. Design thinking is a way of finding human needs and creating new solutions using the tools and mindsets of design practitioners. I have adapted a three-step process for design thinking. There are three eyes of design thinking. First, inspiration. Inspire new thinking by discovering what people really need. Second, ideation. Push past obvious solutions to come up with breakthrough ideas and make those ideas tangible. And third, implementation. Craft a human story that inspires others towards action. So your creative leadership stems from creative confidence. You need to find your spark to build creative influence. Creative confidence means that you have the courage to take risks, the willingness to fail and learn from your mistakes, and the knowledge that all of the ideas you create have value. Want to develop your creative leadership? Check out Greg's Creative Leadership Seminar. 
I'll put a link to the video in the description below.